Well, boy, am I excited today. I am going to bring you my top 10 Amazon items that I recommend. How exciting. Well, welcome back to the Smallscape. Yes, I am thoroughly excited to bring you my top 10 items, not in any particular kind of order, but my top 10 items that I like to get from Amazon you can too. At least it's a great place to go and check it out. Browse around, window shop, whatever you want to do. By the way, for all of the items that I'll be talking about today, I will include Amazon affiliate links down in the description below if you'd like to check any of them out. Now, with this being for fish keeping, they're not going to be as like well, what would you say, like foo-foo-y, fun as maybe other channels and other realms of the universe. This is for fish keeping. This is serious stuff, except a couple of the items, I'm, I'll put them at the end, they're gonna be my bonus items. Those might be a little bit more foo-foo-y because you are, of course, at the small skate and I'm a little, you know, we do things a little different here, as you know, if you've been watching it. So without further ado, let's get started with number one. And like I said, not in any particular order, but I had to start it off with this one because it is one of my all-time favorite items, the bucket diaper. It's a paint strainer, and you can get these in all different sizes for all of your buckets to keep your buckets nice and clean because then when you're taking out duckweed, you're taking out uh, gravel, sand, little dead snails, whatever you're, whatever you're doing, you can keep your bucket nice and clean with these. They come in two gallon sizes, five gallon sizes, all sorts. I think they had a pack of 25 of them for 25 bucks, five gallon size. They're just great. You can use them for all different things too. You don't even have to use them in your, in your fish keeping world or in, you can use them in aquascaping. You can fill it with gravel and use it as kind of a, to bump up the back. That would be a, that would be a good use. It doesn't have a fancy zipper, but then you fold it. Number two, I just did, and all of these things that I reference, I have other videos because I have previously talked about a lot of these. If I have, I will link the video down below for your viewing pleasure and you can further check it out and see exactly how I use all these items because a lot of these items do have multiple uses. But continuing on, number two, yes, I just did a video on my new favorite super glue. It's a little two pack, it's fancy super glue. You get two items in this pack for like $12. You get a nice thick gel and you get an accelerator. Yes, there's different ways you can use it. And I do believe from a lot of your comments that you can use this accelerator with just your average ordinary super glue, whatever brand. So they even have regular brands of super glue. If you like Gorilla Glue, they even have those little individual sizes. Those are kind of handy. All just, all just different kinds of super glue. Number three, plastic razor blades. Now I got this at Ace Hardware. I love Ace Hardware, but Amazon, and this will be going into my cart very soon, Amazon, you can get 100 plastic razor blades and two scrapers that actually hold the razor blade with a really long handle, better than the little tiny one that I have. And you get like 100 razor blades, two scrapers for like $11. You really can't beat it. and. Just trust me, you're gonna to wanna to get a bunch of them because they just happen to go missing very soon after getting them. They'll just disperse around wherever you have a tank and if you have other fish keepers in your house, you know what I'm saying, these are gonna disappear. Number four, this is an item that I absolutely love. It is so useful in a lot of different ways. It is the shrimp net, but not just any shrimp net. Make sure, I will link my favorite one down below. I believe it's actually by Fluval. And it's this little one that's kind of squishy at the end. There's a lot that are square and round, but they're very, um, the edges are very squared off. That one I don't like as much as this one because this can kind of get into little nooks and crannies. And if you just clean the tank and you got some floaters, you can go ahead and, you know, cl clean it up like that. And telescoping, absolutely necessary. Even when you have tiny nano tanks, this can, co can come in, in a, a really a lot of handy situations and I can't recommend it enough. And of course, you can catch shrimp with it. Number five, you can get anywhere, but there's also fancy ones and sets on the wonderful world of Amazon. Yes, it's the turkey baster. You can get fancy ones. The ones that I like come in a set of four. 
They also come with a brush, well actually two brushes, and a uh, brush attachment, which we don't really need. I guess you could use somehow. I'm sure there's ways to use it in the fish keeping world, but the more you have, just like with the razor blades, the more of these that you have, the better, because they will go, they will go missing because they're great for watering plants. They're great for kind of brushing off your, your plants. If there's some debris that, that go in, you can just kind of use the, the water to squirt the, the debris off your plants. You can do a kind of quick little water change. Actually, I think on Amazon, they sell them as like nano siphons. Really, it's a turkey baster. Number six is the snail trap. I love these little snail traps. If you look at the, if, if you look at the reviews, they're not very highly reviewed. That's okay, and I'm gonna tell you probably why. It's, I think, average three stars out of five, because it's not like all the snails go in there and then they're stuck. That's not how it works. You can also get food like this, but this is really just, you can really just fill up this little internal compartment. This top comes off. You can fill up this little internal compartment with crushed up algae wafers, something like that. Just something fluffy enough to, to stay in. There's little slats. It just really attracts snails onto this little tray. And then you can just pick it up, dump them off in another tank or whatever you're doing with the snails. And then you just put it back down as long as there's food in here to attract them. It's really great. So it doesn't trap the snails in here, full disclosure. It just attracts them for easier removal. Number seven is something I also reviewed very recently, but I absolutely love them because if you like to keep your glass clean in your nano tanks. This won't be very effective for larger than say 20 gallon tanks. It'll not be very user friendly, but these are little silicone scrubbies and they are available at the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them at mine, but I hear that they they are. But these are, I think you can get them a two pack for $4. So they're $2 a piece, but I love them. They have these little, these little, little scrubby things and you can just clean off the front of the glass really well. It's not good for like harder green algae. Then you're going to want to use your plastic razor blades, but just so you know, they do have these on Amazon. Number eight, I have to mention that they have on Amazon Fritz product. Now, full disclosure, we are, Primetime Aquatics is sponsored by Fritz Aquatics, but we love their products so much, that's why we use it. So it, it does have, uh, Amazon does have Fritz Complete. It also has Fritzheim 7, which we used when we kickstart a brand new tank. Works great. They have different sizes. Uh, any kind of uh, those chemicals, if you'd like to take a look at Amazon, please feel free. But whenever we're changing out water, adding tap water, we always add Fritz Complete. And then, like I said, when we, when we start a, a brand new uh, tank and we want to kickstart the cycle, we add Fritz Time 7. You should see our fridge. <laughs> Number nine, I have recommended this, and this was a very popular video, I think because aquaponics is very, very popular. But when I suggested all the different kinds of uses for net pots, these are the little pots. If you buy aquatic plants and sometimes other plants, they will come in these little plastic pots and it has the rock wool uh, holding the little plant in place. Well, if you don't throw these out, they're really, really handy. They could be used for many, many different uses. I will link that video down below so you can see at least some of the ways that you can use these. But if you don't buy aquatic plants, maybe, or if you've already thrown these out, they have I don't know, probably packages of 50 of them and they're very, maybe like 10, 15 cents a piece. But these are very, very handy, not only in uh, the world of fish keeping and uh, aquarium stuff, aquatic plant stuff, but other other uses I'm sure as well. And, and they're really easy to cut too if you only want to use half of them. Number 10 is the most expensive item on my list, but I had to include it because it is one of my favorite tanks, kind of. This is the Aquatop Pisces. We have the bullet, it's the five gallon. I really like the five gallon. I just aquascaped that. I'll put that uh, video link down below if you'd like to check it out, but it's a great size. It's a five gallon, it looks really nice. It's our kitchen tank. And I, I think it might be sold out on Amazon. <sighs> 
we heard from the rep that after our video went out, it sold out. I don't know how many they keep in, in stock in Amazon, but it did sell out. So if it's not there, keep in mind, I'm going to link the Aquatop Pisces Cube. That's next on my list to get, and it's the same streamlined design. It's really great. All of the uh, maintain maintenance is kind of hidden in that back panel, but also very easy to get, get to, and it's just a very beautiful looking tank, and I'm really, really kind of obsessed with the cube tanks, as you can see the ones behind me, but this is a five gallon size. It comes with a lid. It's just a really, really great tank. I think it's like, uh, like 12 inches wide, maybe 9 or 10 inches deep, and uh, maybe like 10 inches high. It's it's something like a 12 by 10 by 9 or, or something like that. But it's a really, really nice size, so check it out. And it's pretty reasonable for all that. I think it's somewhere around $100, $110, but uh, a good deal. Now, since that was number 10, here are your two bonus items because, well, I warned you, you are at the small scape and we do things a little, I do things a little weirder. But my first bonus item is, if you remember from last year, I love these lights. They're like puck lights, but they're battery operated and they're submersible. That's right, they can get wet. You can put them in your tank. If you wanted to, you could put them behind your tank and not be worried that they're gonna get wet something's gonna happen. And the other great thing about it is, comes with, each of them comes with a remote control. And look at all those different color choices that you can do. Last year, I did a, was it two different kind of funky little holiday themed builds using the lights. But when you take an aquarium, especially the, the, uh, the aquariums that don't have any rims, the nice rimless design, and you take these lights anywhere around it, it's gonna make the the lights, the, the sides kind of glow. It's just really beautiful. I just thought I would mention those, that they're really great. And if you have ponds, if you have any kind of water features outside, these are these are your friends, they're really cool. My last bonus item, I, I had to do it because I saw it on Amazon, I couldn't believe it. I usually get these on eBay, and there's other kinds too, but for your gift giving, fish keeping idea book. Here you go. Especially if you like bettas. Or if you have a betta lover on your on your Christmas list. Okay. This is it's an old world Christmas, so for all my Christmas fans out there, if you're familiar with the brand Old World Christmas, it's a glass blown ornament and it's a betta fish. How beautiful is that? I bet you Lisa at KT Tropicals would love this. I should send her one. Shh, don't tell her. Isn't that pretty though? Yeah, it, and it's really, it's only like $13, $14, which is very close or even cheaper than the ones on eBay currently. Just, just a side note, this isn't an eBay uh, video, but they do have other fish available, just not on Amazon. So there you go. There is your Amazon hit list from me, all the things that I hope that maybe you'll find helpful. These would be really great gift items, I think, for anybody on your list, maybe who's new in the fish keeping hobby, or just even to me from me's, just gifts for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what is your favorite gift to give a fish keeper? What, uh, what of these items do you really love? Or do you think that you, you maybe might give uh, a shot? Or what is your best tip for Amazon this time of year for a fish keeper? Let me know. Hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.